Hey, hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Last Stand Gamers, and welcome back to our part two of our sort of ships for sale, where we're having a look around different ship stores around the station. So the first place we're hitting today is the Vintage Shipyard, but before we continue, I just wanted to thank you guys for the comments in the last video. I thought, I thought they were great, they were really helpful, some really good advice on what ships to buy. Let's continue on and have a look at some of these beautiful creations. I'm in the vintage. I'm in the vintage yard now. The vintage one. Ooh, gonna find vintage. This one's got oh, some see, see sort of vintage lighting going on. I drop myself down here. What's this one called? Keg. The keg is a resupply <laughs> ship with 28 small fuel. 20. Okay. Okay. Advanced starters. So there is some advanced starters over here too. I guess maybe each shipyard has their own. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. That's a nice red, red looking one. A bit more design in there. These bigger ones ain't loaded just yet. There we go. Lovely. Wow, you can tip up some giant cargo on these things, can't you? Yeah, well, it's like on one of the ships, it does say that there's um, three by three cargo containers coming, so. Yeah, so these would fit in the three by three, wouldn't they? This, this version of the Starbeam. Oh, by uh, Mutley X is designed for station part transportation with 10 individual controllable carbo cargo lock frames. Okay, I'm not not too sure what, what the station parts would do. I've, se I've seen this. I guess you can build a station with them, but... Ooh. You alright, it's Lake House. I've heard a crash outside. <laughs> is that you? Yeah. yeah, I found the roof. Oh, lovely. I landed on the roof. Wow, this is this is be this is beautiful crafting. I like I, it's nice seeing though from some of the other cheaper ships, the starting ones that they put together. That how how far you can get with it. Wow, this thrust is giant. How do we get in it? Oh yeah. That's the question. Oh, and there's weapons tucked in here at the front as well. Is that a button for the door? Ah, the door's here. Let's drop ourselves in, and we got we got doors here. On cool little flaps. Wow, that that is cool. Lights. It's got free seats. It's got gun seats as well. I'm guessing. Yeah, it's very industrial here. Fuel rods and then everything else is, I think, just the internals. Oh, everything tucked behind this little folding door is a fun idea. So, you, how do you close this up now that you've activated it? That's a little bit of a design mistake. There we go. And then into the cockpit. If we can. What a, oh, look at all these buttons. We've got flashing buttons. We've got green buttons. We've got red ones. You'd really have to know your ship, wouldn't you, to pilot it? Yeah, yeah. That's the thing with buying some of these pre made ships. You don't know what half the stuff does. I mean, it's only 1.2 million. And enough forward to probably. You're going to need from everywhere. Is this, is this like a Christmas. Oh, it's a chessboard ship. I haven't seen that one. Chess in space. Chess <laughs> is a uh, space by fluffy nutters of vintage. Uh, not this one. I don't think I've, I've, I've had a brief look through them all, but look at this thing. It's like a giant yes. X-wing cargo transporter. <sighs> That's a lot of ore. Oh yeah. no, it's unloaded. No, load back. Oh, load. No, oh yeah, well, it did the same for me then. Oh. I came around <laughs> the, the front, front of to look it. At it. Yeah, yeah. I guess it's yeah, I guess it's measured from the center or something, perhaps. Okay, so this has got another hatch on here. Oh, look at this. This is cool. It's got a really fun layout inside with a little control panel area at the back. What's the door? Okay, so that's that door. Let's open that back up. We've got a hatch as well. Oh, bottom. There's a bottom hatch that accesses the inners. That's cool. And then you've got a full control seat with lamps, coolant. What's what's this coolant thing? Is it does it cool the engines or the reactors or something? Can yeah, you yeah. Too you, hot? You, you need them. It's like all, all ships have radiators attached to the, the reactors. Mm -hmm. So I guess it is a case of they can overheat. Hello. This ship is free. Which one? Come over here. Where are you? This says, does it say for you, unable to receive ship data? 
Oh yeah, yeah, you can't, some of them... Yeah, some of them you just can't buy yet, I don't know, for whatever reason. Oh, okay, sorry, I thought it was free then, I was like, yes! We have oh, cashed, we have cashed ship. in! <laughs> free ship, yeah! Well, like, yeah, you know, okay, so that one's 50, 55, what's that one got on it? Ro uh, designed as an entry-level mining vessel. Oh, it's it's cheap. Well, it's cheaper in money, but not in materials. No, and I mean, some of these materials to buy it are like stupid expensive. And is that because of the inflated market at the moment? Yeah, yeah obviously. I I've been out. It says you have to go out about four between four and five hundred k away from the station to start getting tier three stuff. I've been out to six hundred k, and I've still not found anything. Okay, okay. Well, look at this guy. These are some big cargo. When you destroy a cargo container, have you done it yet? Have you seen what happens? No, I've, I've hit a rock and lost a couple of cargo containers. Oh, this has got like patio doors up here. Oh yeah, this this is gonna be mega. I can feel it already. We have got a turtle. We have got an avoid. Yeah, turtle mode is. For when you're in the asteroids, it slows you down to like 20% of your normal thrust or something. No, oh, so like a slow mode. We've got an, we've got mm. an, oh, so we've got an aiming reticle. We actually have a laser reticle as well. Oh, it'd be so cool to get them lasers to work. Oh, not get the lasers to work, but just get to that stage where you have them. What's the save do? It's probably some sort of figures or saying. It's probably something to do with the. Okay, scanner and load. So that'll lock it in place. I want to learn the editor, really. I, I want to spend a bit of time in there, but the only thing is, if you spend your time in the editor, then you can't really build it because you've not got the parts. No, no, that's what I've given stop. Because I spent uh, quite a few hours in the editor learning it, and, mm -hmm. and I thought, I want to stick these on there, but I can't really stick these on there yet until I've done the research. Yeah. So I'm just back out just doing... I mean, I can I can design the ship and have it all ready for when I have the stuff, but yeah, bring us a bit get the stuff first. Then so there's two versions of that. So we've been we've been through every have we been through the lobby area yet? Uh, yeah. The... Oh yeah, we didn't have a look in here, did we? Just depends if it all loads for us. Oh, what's this one? What? The... Nice, cool black ship. Trident scooter, the scoot uh, the <laughs> the Trident class scooter. Doesn't look like a scooter. Oh, maybe it is a bit of a scooter. Oh, and then what is this guy? Line Rider. The Line Rider is a long range mining exploration ship due to the large amount of fuel on board. 400. Oh, nice big cube. So far, right? A lot. Do you, I don't know if you think this as well. Do a lot of these ships look the same? Uh, yes, it. I think these are all like the, obviously, these uh, ones are pretty much. Uh, but varied. when you get on some of, the, yeah, you get on some of the other hangers, they are, they do differ. What? It, it come over to this one. Has this one got all text over the front of it? Or, just, or is this a glitch? I'm just waiting for it to load in. It's, Two million. Cool. Bloody hell, this expensive. one says what? Beware, the brand. Maelstrom, least you arrows. lose yourself. Worship a thousand paradise lords. This is a ship for eating smaller, faster things alive. There's 12 teeth, less like bangs and more like mirrors of a hippo. How'd you get in the thing? Oh, it's good. I wonder if these, do these all move? Oh, so these are all thrusters. So all, all of these little side doors are thrusters, like house by the look of it. Waiting for it to load in, probably. Just loaded in and then deloaded. Right, and we are at Bally Star? Ba ba yeah, Bell Star, Bell Star, Bell Star. Yeah. We're in their main, their main showroom at the minute. Oh, not the central one, but. So they're offering some other small ship looking designs. Let's keep going. The, the Mako. No information over it on this side. It's got a price, though. Mm -hmm. And the right bits, I mean, there's so many different parts, just the build menu is... 
Oh, I spent hours sure. in like a different parts. Hold on, hold on. This this ship, uh, is this got mining lasers? Can't soon tell you. Are the ores? Yeah, this has got some fancy shit on it. This has yeah, got but look at the price of it though. It's not very expensive for the, for what no. it has. But it's got. Some, if you wanted to buy some of these ores, you're probably looking at another few hundred thousand. Hmm. So this is a, this is one of the cheapest laser miners we've seen, isn't mm. it? So far, something to keep in mind if we come back. Because I'm guessing though, a lot of people have chose that one you recommended to start with as well, um, because it's there, it's right next to it. Yeah, Plus the resource, yeah. the the resource amount is lower. And it's it's just so easy to get. Yeah. So okay, we're dropping down through. And let's see if it really is epic inside the epic shipyard. I've gone right. Oh, we got... oh, you've gone left. I'll come over that way. Okay. With you. We've got another kitty cat. We've got another kitty cat. Oh, we've got two kitty cats in here. Are these two different models of the kitty cat? We've got the cat box. Cat box M. Yeah, you and can't buy cat these box ones, MU. Yeah. yeah, you can't buy these ones yet for some reason. Mm, must do load for me as well. Oh, there's more cat boxes. Oh wow! Look at this thing. I wish it would load. Oh, here we go. Cap. This cat box is loaded. So yeah, it's the same as the other cat boxes. This is a different model, ain't it? It's... Yeah, that's the stock cat box. That one. Now this oh, yeah. thing, I'd like this to load, please, because it looks like it's got a tail. Oh, hello. Yeah, it's loading. It's loading. Oh, so these are all lasers up at the front here. Come on, load for me. Load for me. Oh. Be... Yeah, it's loading. It's loading. Oh yeah, yeah. That's that's a lot of. I think they're all collectors, actually. All collectors. Oh, here we go. We're loading again. I'm, I'm on the roof of the thing. I'm just trying to work out. Oh, it's got like a. So it's like a, it's, it's built like a dragony type scales on the top. Yeah. Epic Corp. I like yeah, that. Some... Oh, found it. <laughs> I know sometimes it can be hit just by a little button. Yeah, it's hidden in the middle of the Epic Corp. Yeah. yeah, so you've got this big corridor, loads of cargo in here. And let's have a look at these systems. So we've got wide 10, we've got narrow, wide, see I don't know what I'm pressing here. Yeah, they're probably just like the, because the, obviously all the turrets at the front are on the gimbal, so you, they probably move backwards and forwards and stuff like that. Oh yeah, yeah, I wonder, where's, the fi where's the fire key for these things? What's that? Pointer, okay, so that's showing you where the lasers are currently aimed. Okay. Okay, mine, collect, roll. Well, it's got warp cars and everything, this thing. It'd be nice to come back to a ship like this, you know, in a few a few weeks and know what some of these systems are yeah. as well. Hover tank prototype. Let's have a look at this. A hover tank prototype whose armaments and other features are made in accordance to rules and limitations. If you want to fly it to the moon, use the upwards thrust and pitch up. It'd be nice if it loaded so I could see it, but we'll uh, we'll scroll over here. It looks cool, like the outline of it in the, the box looks looks like it could yeah, be. Yeah, it's, it's got a big sign on the front saying don't shoot me. Oh, and this one over here has got like a little cockpit that drops down, that's cool. And Oh, so this one can carry probably multiple cargo bays of asteroids along the side. Well, you know, multiple small asteroids. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the hover tank. Oh, yes, hover tank's loaded. Woo! Yeah, don't shoot me at the front. That's cool, isn't it? And then it's got a turret on the top with a little control seat. Let's have a look at this control seat. Um, how does this work? Railgun. Is there a fire button somewhere I'm missing? Or maybe it's control from down here. And you've got another tank turret on the back here. Oh, so this is... Is it WSMD controlled? Yeah, I think so. And this, is there a fire button? It's not clear. I like this, though. I think this will be... Once you've learned how to do it, tracking a target and engaging it like that will be fun as. Because you know. something like... Oh, there we go. It's loaded now. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, I think that might be the issue we're having. What? That, you're I, loading I left, it? Yeah, as soon as I deloaded it, it loaded it for you. Oh, and there's a little control panel bit. So this, this, I mean, you could use this as for shipjacking as well, couldn't you? 
I guess. Someone's out. Someone's out there doing some mining. Yeah. And you you, <laughs> you roll you roll up behind them, slide over the top of them, and lock them in place. <laughs> Just drag this ship off. Yeah. Well, I, I guess once you've locked it in place, you, they can't do much, can they? I don't think. But I don't I know. I have I'm no not, idea. I've not seen it yet. No, there's no. lots of potential, but we've got to find the limits of things. Okay. So let's wrap this video up here. We've explored a few more of the stores, currently only window shopping. I want to see all the stores before I make an investment. Let me know in the comment section below what you think I should uh, spend my hard-earned space credits and R on. Have you got a recommendation for my, me to upgrade from my starter ship? Should I go with the Mammoth or is, is there a better option? There is one with a laser miner that we'll be exploring in a future video. Anyway, I'd like to thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.